All right, let's talk about the contiguity principle. The learning objectives for it are analogous to the other principles. What is it and why is it effective? You should be able to describe it and say why. You should be, rec you should be able to recognize in examples when it's applicable, when it's not. So which is better for student learning? When corresponding words and pictures are presented far from each other on the page or screen, or when corresponding words are, and pictures are presented near each other on the page or screen. So you could, for example, have a label like ice crystals um, in text off to the side of a picture or next to the cloud image in the picture. Uh, so uh, here's an example uh, where, uh, I guess in this case, it's uh, at the bottom rather than off to the side, but it's away from the picture where here it's uh, these, this description of neg negatively charged particles is referring to the this part of the image here and isn't close to it, right? Um, so that's integrated or contiguous, and this is separated. So indeed, near is better. Um, I think this is, principle is, is one of the more clear ones. Um, the why, it has a bit of subtlety to it. Students do not have to use, in the case that they're near, their limited mental resources to visually search the page. So that part's in the eyes. They're more likely to hold both corresponding words and pictures in working memory and process them at the same time to make connections. So the easing the visual search makes it easier to keep both in working memory, particularly because they don't have to be kept there as long. Uh, evidence from uh, a number of studies, this one's uh, adapted from a couple of mirror studies, showing quite a substantial impact. Again, uh, as we mentioned in multimedia, this is on transfer tests, so more like uh, more impact for these principles, these multimedia principles on, on the CLE knowledge component principles, uh, things with rationales. Lots of studies support it. Uh, some demonstrate how integrated text and graphics is correlated to problem solving transfer test performance. Uh, there are findings within training programs for technical tasks. There are interesting findings where the eye tracking technology is used to actually see how, in fact, there is this extra visual search when contiguity is not applied correctly, when the labels are far away from the elements of the diagram or graphic. Some common violations are as follows. Um, the visuals and associated explanatory text are separated, uh, like one before the other, as we saw in, on the right side of that previous diagram. Or they might be partially obscured because of scrolling. This is even worse. Feedback is displayed on a separate screen from the practice of questions, um, so it can happen in your own by doing. Links leading to an on-screen reference, which can be relevant, appear in a second browser window that covers the related information that you want. You know, I'm trying to figure out how to use an Excel function, but the window describing it covers up where I'm trying to apply that function. Directions to complete practice exercises are placed on a separate screen. Uh, when you're uh, looking to apply this, you should uh, place explanatory text uh, adjacent to the graphic elements that piece of text describes. The feedback that you're providing should appear on the same screen as the question. Any procedural directions that you uh, give should appear on the same screen in which the steps are to be applied in the procedural exercise. You can use techniques such as pop-up text and reduce graphics so that there's less obscuring of the visual by the associated text. Here's an example of contiguity in some experiments with cognitive tutors. So in the original interface, here where students were given some, hard to see, but information about this geometric figure. So some of these values are given. Um, they're also told these sides are equal, so it's an isosceles triangle. They fill in the values. Um, this says given here. So the first one, ARD, is given, right? And so they're going to enter that given value. I think it's 77. But they're going to enter it here. And then they have to look down here and say, oh, I guess that's 77. What angle is that? OWA, then look back here and fill it in. Right, so they're going back and forth with their eye movements. In contrast, if students can 
fill in these values uh, right where they appear. And possibly, by the way, this is they do self-explanation by citing rules here. So there needs to be a place to put the rule. So a little bit, there's more than just putting it here. Uh, so thus, this pop-up appears. But this is much closer. So yeah, there's some eye movement back and forth here, but not very much. And one that's sort of dynamic. When I click on this, this appears. When I click on this one, another dialogue here. So this led to better learning. So I have at the end of this deck some other uh, examples that you can take a look at. They have audio in some case, so you have to click on them to hear them. You might go to the go to the slides without audio to look at them. Ask yourself how the principles are being applied. Are they being correctly applied, poorly applied, not applied at all? And you can do this now for you know all of the principles we've gone through so far: multimedia, modality, contiguity, and redundancy. So there's some in chemistry, uh, some in biology. This one, there's a lot of technical terms that you would have to do some subject matter expert interview probably to get a better sense for these. Are the things being labeled and pointed to? Are they the critical things that are hard to be for students to learn? And what are the learning goals? Are the learning goals the vocabulary of the objects or are the learning goals about the processes? If it's about the processes, then maybe the words shouldn't be labels for what this is and what that is, but for how these, this, these muscle interactions work. And so it would be describing the process um, in the contiguous text rather than, than the words. 